Hey boo things, it's your girl Asia and I'm back with another video from one of my favorite hair vendors, My First Wig. Thanks dolls for showing me so much love on my last video. You guys really showed up and showed out and I'm back to show you another one of their flawless units. In this video, I'll be showing you how I slayed this bob without using any type of adhesive. So keep watching for all the details. So dolls, when you get your unit, it will come in this beautiful packaging. And my first quiz is kind of like a one-stop shop. Their box includes everything you need to slay your unit. From the baby hair brush, the wax stick to lay down, any loose flyaways, a comb, some hair clips, some bobby pins, as well as instructions on how to lay your unit. Now their wigs do come in this beautiful packaging and you're gonna get about six inches of parting space in the front. There are two combs on the side, one in the back, and along with an adjustable and removable elastic band. And this is what really makes the unit glueless. So dolls, I decided to go ahead and wash this unit just so it allowed me to part it easier to the side. Um, a lot of times if you wash the hair, wet hair is easier to mold and shape to your liking. Now again, this anything that you see me do in this video is going to be optional guys. Remember, you don't have to do everything you see me do. This is just what I choose to do to slay my unit. You could just pull the wig out of the box and throw it on your head if that's what you would like so after i washed the hair um, i'm just kind of like showing you guys what it looks like i just want to give you a closer look at what the pre-plugged hairline looks like so as you can see this unit is ready to go it's already pre-plugged and lightly bleached in the front so it is ready to wear however i do like to do certain things just to make it a little bit more to my liking so i decided to go ahead and blow dry this unit i use this brush this is the my famous brush that i usually use to blow dry my unit it makes it a lot easier and i'm just adding a little bit um hair sheen to it not really sure of the brand but i'll have it in the description box down below next i wasn't sure if i was going to but i am going to go ahead and pluck this hairline just a little bit i just like to t go into my units and give it my own special touch guys if you don't know how to pluck a hairline this is something that you really should learn because it does make all the difference in your units i did record myself plucking this wig in its entirety if you would like to see this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and i'll be sure to get that video out for you once i'm done plucking i just went ahead with my mousse and i just used the baby hair brush to shape the hairline just a little bit and i created these little swoops they're not exactly baby hair but it just kind of creates some type of dimension in the front And I tied it down with the black paper and went over with my blow dryer just to dry the mousse in place. Now, as you see, the front does have a little bit more dimension than it had previously. So dolls, I decided to go in with my flat iron and just kind of bump the ends a little bit after I blow dried it. And the reason I blue dry my hair is because I feel like it gives the, the hair a little bit more bounce. And I'm just going over the ends lightly. This is a two inch flat iron, so it's perfect for bumping the ends. And this is just going to help the bob flow a little bit more freely. Okay doll, so this is me in all my glory. Um, I decided to forego wearing a wig cap today and I'm just going to put this unit on and I put the latch in the back on the tightest one so that it could fit really nice and snug on my head. And dolls, let's not forget um, how lovely the lace from my first wig is. It's a very transparent tinted lace that blends really well with your complexion. And as you can see, the hairline is looking really good and I think I'm ready to cut the lace off. 
So I'm going to just take my scissor and cut the lace um, as close to the hairline as possible without cutting the hair. Now dolls, I do suggest that you don't cut the lace while wearing it if you are a beginner because you might mistakenly cut some of your hair off and I know we don't want that. So if you can, just take the wig off, cut the lace, throw that bad boy back on and you'll be good to go. Now I was going to wear this wig glueless, however I did decide I wanted to wear my hair behind my ear. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Gots To Be Glue Gel and apply it a little bit to my sideburn area just to lay that lace down. Then I decided I wanted to cut the side just a little bit more, just a little off the sides, just so I could create more defined asymmetric cut. And I'm just using this razor comb to lightly shape off the edges in the front. And now it's not a dramatic cut, but now it's like laying perfectly at my chin area while the side lays a bit longer. Okay, so now I'm starting to feel myself because I'm loving how this is looking. I'm gonna turn around just so you guys can see what the back of this unit looks like. As you see, it's free flowing and it has bounce. So I decided I'm going to just put some of my face powder on the part and area just to define the part just a little bit. Now the knots on this unit aren't fully bleached, but they're so light that you actually really don't need to bleach it. A little bit of face powder will do just fine. Okay, so now this wig is looking just like how I like. Let me give you guys a close up on this hairline. See how natural this hairline looks? This is one of the reasons why I love my first wigs. And dolls, as you can see, this unit is not glued down. So you could really slay this wig without applying a whole bunch of adhesive to your hairline. So dolls, if you're interested in buying this wig, I do have a coupon code for you so you can save a little bit of coins. Just apply this as you check out to save a couple of coins. So you know before we get out of here, I'm gonna need y'all to help me name this unit. What are we gonna call this beauty? Go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. And dolls, if you haven't seen my last video, be sure and check that out as well. However, I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed in my last video and the new name as well as the person who submitted the comment will be listed right here. Dolls, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the fam. And as always in part, and until next time, you guys stay blessed and I will see you in my next video. Take care now.